Back home now, the Etaguini municipality has refuted claims that the Go Durban project has become a white elephant despite a 10-year delay. The opposition party in the metro is demanding answers as to why the city has injected 10 billion rent into the non-functional bus terminals. The project was aimed at providing low-cost transport to commuters to move around Etaguini and reduce congestion in the city. The Gold Durban project is an initiative by the National Transport Department and it was meant to be implemented by various metros across the country. However, after the project was launched in Durban 2014, it was beset with challenges. Part of the national requirement was that the city negotiated with existing public transport operators who would eventually be operating the service. In 2016, the city says negotiations started with operators but soon deadlocked as operators wanted full ownership of the bus fleet. This resulted in an impasse that continued for more than eight years. In October 2021, the city says it took a decision to review how they would implement the Go Durban operations and in 2023, council approved the amendments. The new revised approach would integrate the public transport operators with the operators and Etaguini municipality having joint ownership of the fleet. Etaguini municipality says contingency measures are in place should funding be halted from the national department. The city says the official launch of the Gold Durban Transport Initiative is expected to be completed in January 2025.